people. How are my YouTubers out there in YouTube world? I was lazy a couple of days. I couldn't do anything. I just didn't have it in me. Sometimes you can get overwhelmed, and that's with anything that you do all the time. You can get overwhelmed and just kind of want to give up, but you don't give up. But that's what it kind of feels like. But I was like in my own little zone. But I'm getting up. I'm up today. Look at that new leaf on my pink princess. Look at this. I turned my ceiling light on. I put three good light bulbs, white lights, and one grow light up there. And it comes down on top of it. So, wow, it's just simply stunning. Look at her. Look at her. Now, this plant is amazing. When I got her, I figured she was about this big. But I made this plant off of her. That's one of her babies. And I have two more in the kitchen that size. And I have another one in the living room that's about the size of the bottom leaves. I made four plants out of this one plant. So you really don't have to go out and buy a bunch of plants and all that. You know, make babies from your from the plants that you already have. Like my Monstera Peru, SP Peru. That needs uh, to be cut off. It's not growing leaves. It grows leaves there, but it's not growing in the middle. So I'm going to cut her off and propagate her and make another plant. So you really don't have to go out and buy plants. Look at this. I bought one, one rubber tree, and I took them apart, made two pots. I got two rubber trees. So you really don't have to go out and just buy plants and buy plants. Make babies out of your plants, especially now because it's winter time. They're not going to do that much growing. They're really not. So I kind of make babies out of mine so I don't have to keep buying plants because it gets overwhelming trying to keep up with the style and all of them are beautiful so i quit that i just work with the ones i have but this baby right here my pink princess and i have her in a water jug y'all know my son cut the top off of it and uh it doesn't have any holes so i put lecca dirt regular potting soil lecca uh pumice and some what you call that stuff? Uh, peat moss. Not peat moss. Yeah, the, the grassy stuff. I put all that in there, in that dirt. And it loves it because it doesn't have any holes. It keeps it, it keeps it just right. But I tell you what, I don't have any holes in it. So I saw this on another channel and I don't remember where. But the person had straws. They stuck straws. So I use straws and I push them all the way down in the dirt. And I let them stay there. And then once in a while, I pull them out. Then your hole is there at the bottom. So you pull it out, you got an air hole in there. And I thought that was the coolest little trick. And I have not had one problem with her since I put this in here. So she's growing. New leaves. Yes, she is. My pink princess and her four babies. I mean big babies. And this one is getting a new one on it. Look at that. She got a new one. Sorry about the lamp. She got a new one coming up on it. They starting to grow now. So, okay. Mama Long is back. Like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed day. Mama listening to her smooth jazz. All right. Mama Long loves you. Bye.